Hey everybody. So in the last video I said something about uh, joining a 24 hour group build which is on Facebook. Craig the Mutt Modeler he also is a big um, YouTuber that does that uh, 24 hour build. And what it does is it, it's at the end of um, it, it goes on along with the 24 hour Daytona. So yeah, you know, as you're watching the race, you'd be working on a model, trying to get it done before the race, or it, it normally goes. So I usually stay up and watch that race as much as I can. And then one day I saw this on Facebook, and I was thinking, "Well, hell, I'm gonna be up anyhow. I'm probably gonna be working on a model. I might as well try it." So I end up starting doing that, and surprisingly, by doing that. I mean, you're kind of rushing to get the time done, but one thing it does kind of teach you is uh, balancing your time, organizing your build, so having a proper order of operations on your build to kind of just be able to not have to go back and forth and uh, jump around. And getting that kind of situated, um, learning how to actually finish an item. I know a lot of us have had trouble with that in the past. You'll start a kit and uh, never get it done. Well this kind of taught me how to how to stick with it and get it done to see it through. So I think this will be my fourth year doing it. And uh, so far I have succeeded in every one. Now one thing is, is I actually pick a kit that I know I can get done. Not a lot of decals, not a lot of parts, and not a lot of different colors. I, I see a lot of them that will pick, um, you know, a really hard kit, a level 3 or 4, whatever brand it is. A lot of decals, multiple colors, and then come halfway through, they're like, well, I can't finish it. Well, planning ahead it, you kind of would think all them decals you're really not going to get that done so and then like paints you got to use uh, pretty much your lacquers some people use enamels and they'll put it in a dehydrator and um, I just I wouldn't want to have to do that so I usually get uh, the, the uh, testers Lacquers, you know, them are all metallic, so if I don't want a metallic, I end up getting the Tamiya paint. They dry really fast. They dry so fast that last year I was able to do that three colored body. It was a red, white, and blue Corvette. Got that done in 24 hours. I think I got the paint done with the decals in the first four hours. I let that cure overnight and then in the morning I put the clear on and then um, by noon well no maybe I put the clear on before I went to bed and uh, so before noon that day before what like the time it was done I was able to put that body on that clear was completely cure and um, I think I even wet sanded and buffed that one but you know you got to use the right paints and it's completely po possible to get it done in 24 hours and not have a bad looking model kit so that big planning ahead is a big key and uh, this one is a very easy kit it's a Tamiya so there's not going to be no flash or a bunch of misfitting pieces it's going to be pretty well done and I'm going to paint this with Tamiya yellow. Um, that will give me enough time to let that cure, mask it, paint all the black trim on it. Because I do have to paint the black here, black here, and on the little scuff guards and around the windows and stuff. So I should be able to do that. I only have two colors on there. And I should be able to clear it before I go to bed. should be pretty darn cure by morning. So... So let's open up the box and see what's inside. I 
And this is probably my favorite Porsche 911 out of all of them. All right, so as you see, there's nothing, nothing's touched in the body or in the, the kit. Here's the body. I gotta wash it yet. I'll have to probably sand these seam lines and such. And then in the back, there's some heavy seam lines right there. But other than that, that's about it. So what I'll do is I'll probably just take a look at it, plan out what I'm gonna have to sand, so that way I can clean it up and get it under paint as soon as I can. But that is a sharp car. That's probably one of my favorite favorite sports cars. The next is the interior tub. I will paint that. I plan on flocking the floors. Flocking that. I will probably, before I flock it, I'll probably paint, paint it and do a two-tone interior. I'll probably use an acrylic. The suspension, I'll probably cut that, put it on a tree or on a, on a peg separate. These ones I'm going to do a little research. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's part of the, I know this is part of the exhaust, that's exhaust tips and that. But I have to figure out what these are, see what color I'm going to paint them. But I'll probably do a little bit of um, heat wear marks on that. That's the suspension, might be silver. I don't know. I put the wheel, rubber wheels on there just to keep them off of the plastic. But the rims, I'll probably hand paint those, and then you got the headlight bezels. You got the glass, that's going to sit in there until the very end. And then you have the seats, steering wheel, dash, more suspension part, wiper blades, rearview mirror, door handles, and then the chassis. So the chassis is going to get painted one color, and then it's going to be hand painted the details, assembled. I mean, if you really think about it, you could have it as a roller chassis in a couple hours. So minus the paint and all that, assembly is going to be relatively quick and easy. So being 24 hours, it's very plausible. Decal sets, you have a couple mirrors, and then a dashboard and turbo, and um, license plates. A couple badges. There is these uh, scuff guards that go on the back fender those will not go on this car. I never liked those. And since it's going to be my car, I don't want them. And then you got your poly caps. So other than that, not a lot to it. It should look relatively good when I'm done. I don't have to stress about ruining the kit. Because I rushed it. And I should be able to get to the, the task of it. I also like to be able to do a kit where I can walk away and uh, not stress about not being able to finish it. So with this, I should be able to walk away, let paint and glue cure overnight, come back the next morning, and be able to finish it just fine. One thing I have to look in the kit and see if the mirrors are in there. I didn't see those. Oh, yeah, they're right there. Different color than the body. But one thing is, is you remember that group build we all had that uh, BG hosted, Clona Toy? I think I end up doing this one. It was a Pontiac GTO. That was my favorite one. Well, there's my other one that went with that, which is Porsche 911. Convertible. Little micro machine. This this one is probably the reason why I like the Porsche 911 so much, but uh, in reality it's it's some rear fender flares, how they far they came out. I mean this car looked like a race car as soon as it was off the factory floor. 
I didn't have to do nothing. I think the only thing I didn't like was this front bumper. But uh, the government is the reason why they did that, so I'm not going to judge the car for that. But um, there is my opening box of that, if you're interested in it. Um, I might do a live that day of uh, starting it. Doing maybe like a half hour live or something. I don't know. But uh, keep an eye out. And until next time, I'll talk to you then. Bye.